hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel my study and in this video let's just deploy a node.js application and those application we are going to deploy via cli so earlier we try to deploy this python application some sample python application plus python uh, flask application through console but now we are going to see how you can deploy a simple hello world kind of node.js application but that is through cli with one single file of code okay so let me go to my console okay and let me quickly go to elastic bin stock and as we are going to deal with the cli so i'm just going to open my cli okay so i am already having an application that is uh, my first tab and it is also having a node.js so this is already being deleted so let me simply delete the existing one so this thing I have created for myself earlier. Okay, so for now, let me just go to my first step or uh, I can navigate to shell and we are going to create a new application and a new environment. Both of them we are going to create from the CLI. So for CLI, there is a command line utility that is nothing but EB. That is Elastic Bin Stock uh, shortcut. We are going to use it for that purpose. And the very first thing, let's just create uh, one folder. Let's say mkdir, that is for the making of directory. And let's say node.js eb, that is for the elastic bin stock. And node.js eb. Now, uh, within that, uh, I just want to check whether N, uh, node is available here or not. So we earlier also test with uh, node 20.12.2 version node is by default installed so you don't need to worry about anything next thing let me just create uh, some file let's say some server dot uh, js okay and i'm just going to paste some code here that is just going to return a hello world let me paste it and you can see a very simple one it's just going to return hello elastic bin stock let me just make it like a version 1.0 in case we want to deploy uh, another version also and it's just going to listen everything on port number 8080 this is the host name it required this uh, node http module okay so nothing special here those who are already familiar with the node uh, programming languages uh, this is a very simple hello world kind of stuff Okay, so now we have a server.js file is available with us. If you want to run this one, uh, you can uh, run this one through locally via this node, let's say server.js and it's just going to run at this particular location. So let me just copy how I can verify it. So I can go to another tab. I'm just going to open another one and with this curl command, we are going to fetch because we are on the same machine you can see it has written hello elastic bin stock version 1.0 okay so i'm just going to stop it everything runs fine everything is working good so the next thing is uh, we just uh, want to create a uh, new application and for that we require a command line utility which is nothing but eb so you can see this eb is also by default installed here so the very first thing uh, we require some application or in existing application also one can deploy it see this one okay so we'll just go ahead with the creation of new application uh, let's say that will be eb something like init hyphen p and for which programming language you want to deploy so that will be node js and next thing is you want to give uh, what is the application you want to create so let's say that will be node eb app okay and under which region you want to create it so we just want to create in a let's say same region so in our case the region will be us east one so i'll just continue from here okay so uh what it says that uh, there is some access denied because uh, from the command line uh, we don't have given the access related to elastic bench stock and at this particular level uh, let me just go to my iam and there is a one iam user i have created for which 
all the access key and access key id being configured so within a user the user is john to for which i have already configured if we just have a look at the policy for the john there is only one for the other videos i created and this being allowed it but now we are going to add or uh, elastic bin related one policy so that will be bin stock okay so i'm just going to give the administrator level uh, aws elastic bin stock exchange let me press next and add permission so now john has the permission to interact with the elastic bin stock so we are expecting that this error should be gone and no let's just uh, try once again maybe this propagation may take little time okay application uh, node eb app being created now how i can verify so i can just refresh and you can see node eb app being created but it doesn't have any environment within that okay now uh, one more thing before we go ahead uh, why this uh, things are working from here because i already configured the configuration for this uh, john and for john whatever access key i created uh, which is available here that is already configured in my case for uh, this cloud shell so i can just provide the permission to the john and i can always go ahead now suppose next thing is if we want to uh, associate some key pair with this uh, elastic bin stock so i can just run this eb init once again and do you want to uh, set up ssh for your instance so for now we haven't learned anything about the ssh so not required so for now let me just pick next i mean no and we'll just go ahead okay now for this one server.js i want to create the environment with all those default values so i'll just go ahead and create like a eb create and with what environment name you want to go ahead so let's say uh, node eb node eb env we'll just give the name like this env let's say one okay and let me press enter and okay elastic bin stock could not find any platform uh, ensure that you have necessary permission to access elastic bin stock okay uh, let me just make sure we are at the current place so yes and it has a server.js file let me just try once again ab create your environment name ah uh, yeah it just started creating okay so creation of this environment uh, may take little time meanwhile we can just simply go here and let me refresh i hope the new environment just started creating so creation of this environment is just definitely going to take 2 to 3 minutes so i'll get back to you once the environment will be ready and afterwards we'll just try to access our application all right so it's almost uh, four to five minutes been elapsed and your environment successfully launched uh, such a notification i found so we can just simply go to uh, this particular domain and let's just check yeah so it has written hello elastic benchstock version 1.0 so that means successfully we have deployed our node.js application from the command line interface okay now suppose i'll just uh, try to change something let me clear here with a uh, another version let's say this server.js and i'll just change a very simple thing like a version 2.0 no other change and let me fire the same thing okay with a server.js see uploading now invalid parameter value error uh, environment node eb env1 already exists that means it just try to create a new uh, environment but now the existing environment also having the same name so it's just classing that's why it's saying it's a uh, new environment let's say in case you want to update you can just go to eb and for the update purpose you can always use this uh, deploy see create is going to create a new environment you can uh, follow along the different uh, commands are available here uh, in case uh, you want to go ahead let's say deploy your source code to the environment so if i just try for eb deploy uh, let's say uh, see the existing source code it just started deploying 
to the same environment okay so now we can just simply wait here mm, let me go ahead to environment one see deploying to the new version to the instance so creation of uh, create command always create the new environment here the deploy command uh, deploy the new code to your existing environment okay so update to cli is available i guess uh, successfully done so i can uh, access my application on a same url and bang on we are able to access hello elastic bench stock version 2.0 so in this video uh, we have successfully uh, deployed our application via cli a node js application next thing is uh, we don't want this application so i'll just go with the uh, eb and do we have something like a delete yeah we have a terminate the environment otherwise just gonna cost me for that particular environment because in future video whenever we require we'll just simply uh, create those environment okay uh, to confirm it you just need to provide the name so that will be node eb env one all right so i guess uh, termination of environment being started and it's just going to take uh, some time we can even manually uh, delete the stuff from here also see this is my first error i'm just going to keep it as it is i want to delete this application also so i'll just go ahead and delete firing of delete command from my console also because i just want to make sure that no instance and background should be keep on running okay so that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed listening this video and uh, please do like and comment on my video please 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 do subscribe my channel so that i can keep creating such a great content on aws okay i'll get back to you in the next one